about uh, esophageal strictures, which is uh, one of the leading causes of difficulty in swallowing. So a lot of patients report that when they swallow food, that the food doesn't go through, and that's called dysphagia or difficulty in swallowing. So what happens uh, when you have chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease where the esophagus is getting exposed to tons and tons of acid every day, that acid causes injury in the esophagus, and that causes a closure of the esophagus. So let me show you on this diagram. It, here's the esophagus, here's the stomach. This acid is supposed to be in the stomach, not in the esophagus. So when you have chronic reflux that exposes the esophagus to tons of acid, it causes injury, and that causes uh, the formation of scar tissue, otherwise known as a stricture, and that will inhibit you from comfortably swallowing food. So after you uh, swallow, it goes into the top part of the stricture, and it literally gets stuck. And uh, so you may basically have chest pain or um, pain in general in the abdominal region or the chest. So the treatment for that is uh, doing a balloon dilatation, and I'll demonstrate in a second what happens. In a balloon dilatation, we insert the scope into the esophagus. I'm going to have Zarina, my, my assistant, show you. And we insert a balloon that looks like this into the esophagus through a, an endoscope. And we literally inflate it, maybe get a close-up view here. We inflate it with water, go ahead. So this is about 10 or 11 millimeters in diameter. And this basically opens up the scar tissue um, and dilates the esophagus. Okay, so that is an intervention that is necessary once somebody has this problem. The way to prevent this problem is to prevent chronic acid reflux. One of the ways you can do that is by medications. Take the Prilosec or whatever, Asafex, whatever, all these common drugs on the, um, in the market. But the better way to do it is to um, basically follow a lifestyle modification and lower fat in the diet. Um, so I, that's why I always recommend a whole food plant-based diet because it's low in animal fat, saturated fat, and generally low in fat, which helps uh, prevent the relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter and also basically prevents acid reflux. So if you have a stricture, remember, even if after you got dilated, you've got to um, watch your diet, otherwise it will come back repeatedly. Thank you.